Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have my July 2020 favorites and fails and just an overall product review. So I'm gonna start with the things that didn't work out for me, things that were all right, and some of my faves. And I've got a lot of faves. It's kind of weighing heavily this way. Um, the items I purchased during the Sephora haul, this last Sephora haul that I had this past week, I didn't use all of the products, but the products that I used several times and I have a really good opinion on, those will be included. Otherwise, I'll include them in next month's um, product roundup as I use them and formulate my thoughts on them. Okay, let's start with fails. The Giorgio Armani Liquid Blush and Contour. This is what it looks like. This is what the brush looks like. It did not work for me. It's very, very sheer. And it didn't really work on, on top of my powder. And the reason I need to have it on top of my powder is because I have that huge area of hyperpigmentation and so I need to bake that before I can put anything else on top. So these were a no-go for me, unfortunately. So I'm gonna be decluttering that. Should I or should I keep trying it? I don't know, anyway. The other fails for me were um, the M Cosmetic Divine Skies eyeshadow palette. For some reason, this just did not work for me. It didn't blend very well. Um, some of the color would just blend away. And I had really high hopes for this, for this to become one of my um, everyday kind of eyeshadow palettes. And I'm really disappointed that this didn't work out. Another fail was the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Magic Hour Blush. Now I have her Magic Hour in the serum drops and I do like that, but this, this formula is good, but it, the color doesn't work on my skin type. It was just a little bit too light and kind of looked ashy on me. So this was a fail, but the formula was good. So there's that. My other fail was Natasha Denona Bronze Cheek Face Glow Palette. Now the formula for this is really good. I do like the formula. The thing is this highlight blush has like a pearl opalescent iridescent kind of a look to it and that I don't like that for my face. This blush was really pretty, but that's the only thing I liked in this whole palette. This bronzer or highlight is too dark for me and this um, highlight, it was pretty, um, but I'm, it's not like I'm gonna be reaching for it. So if I had had the opportunity to go try this out in store and swatch it, I probably never would have bought it. So this is a fail for me in that aspect. Now moving on to the Safari Rain Colored, Colored Rain Palette. Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette. So I ordered this because I wanted to try something from Colored Rain. Now these shadows, initially performed really well. They were really pigmented, they blended out, but these shimmers, by the end of the day, all the shimmer was gone. Um, even with an eye primer, it didn't work very well. So even though it looked beautiful initially, this is kind of a fail for me, which is really sad because you know I love those greens, right? But I'm gonna keep trying to use it and see if I can figure out a way to make it work. If you have an idea of how to make this work, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know. Okay, so those were the fails. Let's go on to the areas that were, it was okay. It was okay. So my first product is gonna be the Hourglass, what is this called? Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. So this is a mascara that I compared to the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. It's a tubing mascara. And I've been using this for a while just to make sure that my thoughts are the same as they were when I first tried them. And it's true. This is a good mascara. And if I didn't know about the Thrive Cosmetics, I probably would love this mascara. But the Thrive Cosmetics is $5 less expensive. It also makes my eyelashes more voluminous and extended. And it holds a curl much better than this. So I'm gonna keep getting the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, but I will use this since I have this. Another okay item was the M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner in Felt Tip Black. This is a really good eyeliner. The only reason it's uh, okay for me is because I don't really use liquid 
eyeliner. But this is really fine tipped. It gets onto the lash line really well. It's really super matte and black, so I do like that. If I used liquid liners a lot, I probably would love this, but I wanted to try because I had heard so many good things about it. So this is good, just not a favorite for me. So there's that. Then the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Now, this is a good formulation. I'm not gonna deny that. Everything blended beautifully. It, um, all the shimmers were pretty, but the problem is with me is that the shimmers, there are about three or four shimmers in here that look exactly the same when they're on the eye. And for $65, I want them to look different when I put them on the eye. You know what I'm saying? So even though this is beautiful and I do reach for this, it's kind of a uh, kind of a fail, kind of a really good, so I put it in the middle for me. I did get this palette because I had regretted not getting the Love palette, and I still may get that. If you guys love that palette, let me know down in the comments below if I should pick it up during the Sephora sale, or if I should just skip it and spend my money somewhere else. <laughs> so this is a good formula. This is great for summer, and I can see using it into the fall, but the only reason it's a fail is because the shimmers look the same on my eyes. And for $65, I would want more than that. So there's that. Okay, now we're moving on to my favorites. Okay, let's start. First is my Giorgio Armani Power Fabric High Coverage Foundation Balm. Now, I've gone through several of these foundation balms, but I finally got mine in the color five. I just dropped my sponge. I got mine in the color five when Giorgio Armani was having a 40% off sale. So I did get that, and I'm glad I got it in a five because this is gonna be great for my winter shade. Now the good thing about this um, foundation balm is that I can put it all over my face. It covers all of my hyperpigmentation, and it's kind of sets so that it's not a balm. It sets almost to a powder kind of a like. No, that's not right either. It sets but it's not powdery, but it's not wet like a foundation. But So I don't need to powder after this, which is amazing. The only reason that this isn't my top favorite is because I go through this balm so quickly and it's not inexpensive. <laughs> That's why I'm always looking for a different kind of foundation that I can use longer than this. This doesn't last that long, but I do love that. So I'm glad I got that. The other love is from Giorgio Armani. I bought this while I was they were having the 40% off sale, is their high power fabric concealer. And I have mine in the colors 4.5 and 5. The 5 I use on my hyperpigmentation and the 4.5 I use under my eyes. Now these are some great concealers. If you're looking for a concealer that it looks smooth under the eyes, doesn't settle into your fine lines and pores, try this out. I think you're gonna love it. So I do love this and this was a repurchase for me, as was the foundation balm. Okay, let's move on to Chantecaille. I did a big order with Chantecaille, or big for me, because it's not cheap. <laughs> so I did an order with Chantecaille, and I loved every single product. So much so that when Sylvie was having her 30% off sale, I placed another two big orders. Yeah, two big orders. No, one big order, one smaller order. I placed two orders. <laughs> So the first is the Chantecaille um, Future Skin, and I have this in the color um, cream. The only thing I don't like about this is this is what the foundation looks like. You know, and I have to mm, stick it out and put it on. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that I have to do that. So I wish this came in a different packaging, but I just leave it upright so it doesn't tilt over and all that stuff. But I do love this. It, goes on so well on your skin. It feels like you have nothing on. It's probably light, me light to medium coverage. So because of that, it doesn't cover my hyperpigmentation, which takes me to the next love, is the Chantecaille Concealer. This one is the Real Skin Concealer, and I have mine in the color 4W. Whoa, Ninja. This is what the stick looks like. And I just use this all over my hyperpigmentation. Because this is a little thicker of a formula, I did get the, I got a cream-based, 
concealer. I can't remember what it's called. So I am going to be hauling that when my order comes in. So I did get that, but I do love this because this does a good job of hiding my hyperpigmentation. The other thing I got from Chantecai was um, their bronzer. Now this bronzer is called Sienna. There's a Sienna and a Goa. This is the Sienna one. And I love this because it's not as red as the Goa. I like my bronzers to be a little more cooler tone and this is beautiful. It's quickly become one of my top mm, three bronzers, which is saying a lot because I have a lot of bronzers. So I do like that. I'm glad I got that. The other thing is the Chantecaille Radiance Chic, Chic and Highlight Duo in the color rose. This is the Whale Shark one. This is a limited edition one. And I love the highlighter and I like the blush. The highlighter is amazing. Look at that. Oh, love that. The blush I'm not as big of a fan of, but it is pretty on my skin. So there's that. So I do love that. I got the other one, that's the Manta Ray one. I ordered that one, so that should be coming in soon. Also from Chantecaille, I got these um, Luminescent Eye Shade. I got mine in Rhinoceros. This is the Rhinoceros one, which is a sophisticated olive. This is what that color looks like. Let's see. And I use this as a one and done. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? It is so pretty on the eyes. I love this so much that I got another color as well. And then I got the color Pangolin, which is a dusty lilac. This is so pretty as a one and done as well. Look at that. Mm, I love me some one and dones because uh, when I have to be quick and get out the door, four kids are not patient when they're waiting for the mom to get ready. <laughs> not that we're really getting out the door much, but I'm planning ahead. So there's that. So that is all of my stuff from Chantecai. So then let's go into my um, M Cosmetics. This is the eyebrow gel. I have mine in the color Espresso. This is what it looks like. And this is my favorite eyebrow product. It has even knocked off the Hourglass Arch Brow. What? This gel um, has fiber in it and it does a great job of keeping my eyebrows in place even though my eyebrows are the straight Korean eyebrows that usually don't move. But it's not so hard that it's sticky and crunchy. It's not, I mean, it just looks like eyebrows. I mean, look at that. Amazing! I love this so much. I will be repurchasing this probably forever and ever. So there's that. Then let's go to the Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour Matte Foundation. Now this is not a strong, strong matte. I have mine in the color Natural Beige. And this foundation wore on me with no primer, no, um, no setting spray, and for six hours minimum, it looked just like it looked when I put it on. It wore so beautifully. Now by hour nine, it started breaking up a little bit here and a little bit here and a little bit here, but what foundation doesn't break up on me? And usually that happens by hour two or three. So I think this is really great. If I wear this with um, primer, it lasts all day. I don't even need to powder or blot. That's amazing. That is really amazing. So this is a good foundation and it's not like matte matte. It's not matte. I would say it's more like a velvet kind of finish. It's beautiful and this wore so well. And I think this is $40, so that's really good. I'm very pleasantly surprised by this foundation. So I'm happy with that. Next foundation is the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. Now this is supposed to be cleaning my house. <laughs> it's so expensive. I have mine in the color 5.5 Bisque. Now I got this at Nordstrom's and this color looks really good on me. I will say that. The first time I wore this, I didn't put any primer on. I didn't put any setting spray on because I wanted to see how this foundation would wear. And it quickly broke up on me. And by hour two, I was a greasy frying pot of, you could have made french fries on my face. I mean, I was just an oily mess. And by the end of the day, it was so nasty so nasty but 
I did try this with a mattifying primer and it wore beautifully. Of course by hour three, four, I had to use a blotting paper and then powder my face again, but it still wore really well. It looked very pretty on my face with a mattifying primer. So I do like this and I'll keep using this as well. So I have the Shade and Illuminate foundation. The other foundation that I really liked was the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. Now this is not really matte either. Now the first time I wore this, when I did the foundation wear test, of course I don't wear any primer and I didn't do a mattifying setting spray, I did look like a grease pit. Now it took longer for me to get greasy with this than it did with the shade and Illuminate. But I did not like it with just the uh, just the foundation but when i put a mattifying primer on and i did this it looked so pretty it looked really really pretty i really like this and i have mine in the color 5.6 ivory beige i really like this a lot so i would recommend this as well and if you have an oily face put a mattifying primer on <laughs> Okay, keeping up with the Tom Ford is I got the Gloss Lux in the color 08 Inhibition. This is the lip gloss I have on now. Oh, I freaking love, love, love this gloss. So much so that when I um, Sephora is having their sale in August, I'm gonna be ordering more of these. I just need to decide what colors to get. So if you, um, recommend any of the Tom Ford glosses or their what is it the lip vinyls if there are any colors that you recommend for those please let me know in the comments down below so I know which ones to order I would really appreciate that the other love is a Tom Ford shade and illuminate what is this called shade and illuminate face and eye palette in intensity 2 moonlit violet this is what the palette looks like and when you open it oh, can you see hear the angels sing this is so pretty i had to put this away in my drawer because i was reaching for this every day every day after i um did the unboxing and tried this on this is so pretty and i use every single color in here now that's rare for a, a face and eye palette so I think that's a huge, huge win. I love this so much that I'm thinking about getting the rose one. Has anyone tried that? Do you like it? Let me know down in the comments below. I should probably just save my money because I'm gonna be doing some shopping during the Sephora sale, right? Right? Help me, right? <laughs> so this is a huge win for me. Okay, the next are skincare types of products. And I'm gonna go with the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. Oh my God, I freaking love this. Now, I've been using the natural deodorants for years, maybe over 10 years. So I've tried all the natural deodorants and some don't last very long, some don't smell very good, um, you have to reapply, some just don't work at all, but this one, it's so good and you can work out and be stinky and clean the house and everything and you still won't smell now the thing about this deodorant it comes like this and you have to twist it for the cream to come up and the cream comes up here and if you're not used to wearing a cream that does get a little um it, you need to get used to it but once you do i mean it's so good this is so good. If you've never used a natural deodorant before because you're scared, this is a great one to start with. I love this so much. I recommended this to all of my girlfriends that use natural deodorant. Literally, after I used it for a week, I texted all of them to buy it. It's that good. So I will be repurchasing more of this during the Sephora sale. I think I'm even gonna get my kids to use this. Lastly, oh, this is so good is a Sol de Janeiro shampoo and conditioner. <sighs> now, I love this Boom Boom cream and shower gel and perfume, and this smells just like the cream. Now, the good thing about this is, this lasts, the smell, okay, so it's a strengthening and smoothing shampoo, and I agree with it. I have long, thick hair, it is strengthening. Now look, I haven't had a haircut in almost a year so 
I mean, my ends are nasty and I need strengthening and all that stuff. Cause I'm waiting for this COVID whole thing to like go down so I can go get my hair cut. Cause I have to be there for like four hours to get my hair cut and colored. Cause I have so many grays. But anyway, I digress. This shampoo and conditioner is so good and still smells in my hair. If I can make it to day four, my hair still smells like this and feels good. Of course, I have to use dry shampoo and all of that, but this the scent of this lasts longer in my hair than the perfume does. That's a huge win. It's a huge win. So I highly, highly recommend it, not only because of the um, scent, but because it does a good job of shampooing and conditioning my hair. I've already repurchased another one of these. Probably should have waited for the sale, but oh well. I use this all the time. My daughter begs me to use this, but I tell her no. Okay, there you have it. Those are my July 2020 product roundup. What do you guys think? Is there something that you disagree with me on or products that you recommend? Please leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.